Hi there. Now, for this question, it's all about the Poisson distribution. We're given that the number of houses sold by an estate agent follows a Poisson distribution with a mean of two per week. And we're asked to find the probability that in the next four weeks, the estate agent sells exactly three houses and then more than five houses. Now, first of all, what we need to do is to define a random variable. I'm going to say let x be that random variable for the Poisson distribution. So it's going to be like this. Let x be the random variable number of houses sold per four weeks. And this is going to follow a Poisson distribution. So we've got where the random variable x follows a Poisson distribution. But we've got to take care here because the period has changed. We're now up to four weeks and the estate agent sells two per week. So over a period of four weeks, that's going to be four times two, expected eight houses sold. OK, so we have a mean of eight. So for the first question then, part one, the probability that the number of houses sold is equal to exactly three. And we can do this in two ways. We can either use directly the Poisson probability formula, or we can use tables, the commutative Poisson distribution tables. And uh, I'll show you both methods, OK? So if we just use the formula directly, you should be familiar with that. Here's a brief reminder that it's this one here. So for the probability x equals 3, this is going to be equal to e to the power minus 8. OK, minus the mean there. And then it is the mean 8 to the power 3. And it's all divided by 3 factorial. So work this out on your calculator and you should find you get 0 0.02862 and so on. And if you round that to three significant figures, that's going to be 0 0.0286. OK, there we go, to three sig figures. Now I did say you could do it through using the commutative probability, the Poisson probability tables. And to do that, OK, if we're looking for the probability that x equals 3, what we do is we say that this is the probability that x is less than or equal to 3. So that's the probabilities of x equaling 0, 1, 2 and 3. And then from that, subtract the probability that x is less than or equal to 2. So that will just leave us with 3. And if you look at the tables, and I've got an extract here, make sure you look up a mean of 8, and then the probability of x being less than or equal to 3 is this value here, 0.0424. So you've got this equals 0.0424. And then minus the probability x is less than or equal to 2, which is this value here. 0.0138, OK, so 0.0138, subtract those two and you find you get 0 0.0286, OK? So that's that one. Now we'll move on to the second part of this question. Probability that more than five houses are sold. So for part two then, just put that there. The probability of x being greater than 5 would be equal to, and for this one, we're going to need to use these tables. So we're going to do 1 minus the probability that x is less than or equal to 5. And so we can see that for x less than or equal to 5, it's 0 0.1912. So 1 minus 0 0.1912. 1912 and that gives us 0.8088. Round that to three significant figures and that's going to be 0.809 to 3SF. Okay, 